Hey y'all. Welcome back to Andy's Little Homestead. For those who have never seen me or my beautiful mustache before, I've built basically an entire civilization in what was once just a bunch of woods. We've punched two wells. We've ran our own power lines. We've ripped out trees and cultivated, uh, well, a lot of weeds and some plants. We've cut trees and sawed it into lumber to build a house, which isn't done yet, but that's beside the point. We cut and graded the very road that I'm standing on. And we've done it all with ancient equipment of questionable maintenance scheduling. The problem is when you attempt to build civilization, mother nature tries to take it back from the second you get done working. And that is a problem that we're having here today. Our road is a muddy, soupy mess. And the more we drive on it, the worse it gets. We have every intention of digging a pond over there, but the good Lord apparently wants it to be over here. Now I prayed about it and asked for permission first, but today we're gonna try and solve our water problem on this road. Now we just have equipment. We don't have like, you know, money. So we can't just dump 30 yards of gravel in here to bring everything up. So here's my harebrained idea. Since we're planning on building a pond over there, we're gonna rob a whole bunch of dirt from there. Then we're gonna dig like a little containment pond at the low spots that exist in the road right now. We're gonna take said dirt, we're gonna build this whole thing up. So I reckon the first thing on the list, we're gonna try and fire up the old backhoe. We're gonna bring it over here. We'll build a catch basin, try and get this water drained out. I say build a catch basin, that sounds like some fancy civil engineering. We're digging a big hole at the low spot. Battery's not completely dead. All right, so through the highly scientific and technical process of driving around until it sinks the most, I've determined our lowest spot to be uh, like right about here-ish. And it's actually a little lower on that side, but the pond's going on that side. And because everything naturally drains down from up there to this point, what I think I'm gonna do is dig my catch pond right over here. And then eventually I could uh, at least potentially tie it in with a ditch system to feed the pond that we're digging. I don't know, um, I, I'm just kind of making this up as I go. We're gonna dig a hole and let her wobble. Dang, Andy, that's a nice hole you got there. Thank you, fair citizen. I proudly display it on the internet for all to see. Anyway, now we have a spot for the water to go in. You'll notice that I didn't immediately dig all the way to the road. I left it kind of dammed up right there because if it filled with water while I was digging it, that would make things more difficult. Kind of hard to see from this angle. I don't feel like jumping into the mud, but basically I kind of tapered it going up this way because this water movement and future water movement, I don't need it just washing everything out. Eventually it'll take material from the road itself and go down in there. We don't want that. I'm not saying this from a place of expertise because I'm not an expert, but running a backhoe isn't rocket surgery. They'll literally sell one to anybody. There's no licensing or anything. I love this country. So let's bust the dam open and see what happens. So it's only been maybe 15 minutes or so, but we are draining fantastically. Where I was standing earlier was underwater. We're making good progress, but like I said, we definitely have some high spots that have kind of formed puddles or whatever. And the water wants to go downhill. It really, really wants to. So we're gonna use a very high tech and exacting process to connect some of these other puddles so that it can all drain to the low spot. Hey y'all, 
Welcome back to the Andy's Little Homestead School of Civil Engineering and Barbecue Joint. We got about 90% of the water drained out. I had to dig a whole bunch of trenches. This whole driveway looks like, I don't know, France in 1917. And the forbidden hot tub keeps filling up. But I think we're about ready to go into our next part. So what we're fixing to do next, it's either gonna work great or it's gonna make things worse. Either way, stuff's fixing to happen. So my plan is we're gonna steal from where we're planning on digging the pond and we're gonna start at that far end and we're just gonna start dropping loads, man, dropping them left and right. And we're going to start filling in from away from the catch basin to the catch basin. So my thought is that'll at least push some more of that water and get it all in there. Alternately, it may cause a huge problem for us because everything around here is sand. It's got to be packed well to make a good driving surface. And if I'm trapping water underneath, it may get kind of smooshy. Smooshy sand is not a good driving surface. But we've also got a 16,000 pound backhoe. We drive over it a bunch. It may make it less smooshy. I don't know. Let's fire it up and see what happens. Looks like we're gonna have to knock a couple trees up the way too. I seem to have uh, driven myself into what's already been dug. Nice thing is, if you're in a functioning backhoe, you're never truly stuck. pretty good progress so far starting about here and moving that direction we've actually uh raised the road bed up maybe about a foot and a half and i've been back dragging it and everything else to try and compact it as i go along it's gotten pretty smooshy over near the edges where all that mud was and we've kind of made some fun little nasty emulsion going on over here it smells good and as a side benefit we're making some progress on the pond dig it's a good day that said we have the potential to make some real nastiness over there if we keep going so we're gonna let that dry up overnight and then uh, we'll come back on it tomorrow all right so we're back on to the second day of this and unfortunately i'm not going to be able to get a whole bunch of nifty camera angles we ran a half marathon yesterday and my right ankle feels like it wants to exit the rest of my body i'm not moving so well but long story short we came up with a halfway decent technique for doing this basically what i've been doing is i'll scoop out from where the pond's going and then i'll dump a whole bunch of piles that even higher than where the road is because it's all going to compact then i go back through on the side that's already been done i angle the blade up and i just kind of push it forward more or less like a dozer then i'll back drag it out to smooth it and then move on to the next section it seems to be working pretty well and i've driven over it a few times it's not like sinking in so so let's get on with it All right, y'all, we are almost there. Uh, last thing that we got to do is just get a good back drag on everything just to make it look decent. It's not going to be our finished grade, but it'll make it reasonably smooth and drivable. All right, y'all, a swamp she is no longer. I believe we may have solved our water problem and We've got probably a third of the pond dug in the ugliest way possible. I did run into some issues with this. As I got down deeper, I went through the topsoil that has like a little bit of loam, maybe some clay in it, all the way down to just straight sand. And this old machine wanted to get stuck a lot. And I guess I really don't need to go much more than five or six feet below grade. I, I don't know y'all, I'm making this up as I go. Wonder what my buddy Josh is doing back there. And yeah, it's, you know, not perfect. It's not finished yet. I'm not the best equipment operator in the world, but being the best equipment operator in the world is like being the coolest guy to work at shenanigans. It's really not the kind of thing you should just go around bragging about. But regardless, I believe that we've solved the problem. We're gonna let this get rained on for a little bit and driven over a bunch, get everything nice and compacted. And we'll come back through with the tractor and do a final grade. If I do it right, we might be able to put ditches in on the side. I don't know, we'll see what happens. As always, I hope y'all enjoyed and I hope you learned something. I love you. God bless. 
you know how when you're a kid like a little kid you think you have an understanding of something and you're just completely off with it well for those who don't know every now and again you drive around in the country you'll see a sign that says wanted fill dirt because somebody you know has a spot that they need to fill in and dirt moving companies are often happy to get rid of stuff for free if they you know save themselves a drive so i remember as a kid driving by and uh seeing a sign that said wanted fill dirt and i said to my mom i hope they catch him She said, what do you mean? I said, fill dirt. I, I hope they catch him. I legitimately thought that sign was like an old timey wanted poster. They were looking for a gentleman named Philip Deerte. She had a good laugh at my expense on that one.